You smell nice. Always. Oh my god, is that Daniel Pettit? Hi! <laughs> we are off to the core to film Chris for a video for Swindenborough Council. Uh, we've scripted it, we just need to get a few subjects who are going to speak the lines within the video. A few business people around Swindon, so Chris is one of them. Yeah, don't know where we're going to set up just yet. We'll kind of find out when we go in. Who knows? Look at this Ferrari. Wow, Ferrari. Wow. Ferrari. It wasn't a Ferrari, was it? It was a Lotus. <laughs> I always get Lotuses and Ferraris mixed up. We did film with Chris. Hello, model. Hello. Where are we? What are we doing? We are in an undisclosed location doing an interview with an undisclosed person. Not me. And Dan and Joss are setting it up. Hello, Dan, two cameras. Hi there. Just rolling with the uh, 50mm. 50mm? 24105. C200, C100. Good times. Good times. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Is the mic on? The mic's on. So, um, Dan, Dan's a bit stressed today, and I'm just going to like one of these bad boys for Dan. This is part. This is all part of my role as business director here at Art Works. It's just keeping the office calm and keeping the employees happy. So, Josh, yeah, Josh, Josh, you feeling calm today? I'm feeling so calm. Are you feeling there's some negative energy in the office today from someone in particular? I think there might be. I think there might be too. I'm just going to pop that there on the wood. It's probably not a fire hazard at all. Is that a fire hazard, do you think? Probably is a little bit. No it? naked flame. It's not a fire hazard. No naked flame, apparently. Dad likes to have some safety now. I'm the fire marshal. Uh, Dan, if you're watching this, mate, we love you. Um, please don't be angry anymore. Please don't be stressed. Yeah. I have no control over You've got no control. No, no one does really. He's his own man. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is a shoot day. Um, we are in early this morning because we're going to shoot a, an interview at about 9 o'clock. So we're all in at about 8ish, half 8, getting the bags packed. Luckily it's only over the road of the Optimist. They've been nice enough to lend us their place. Here's Ben, sneaking up on me. Uh, in. So yes, just uh, in. getting the kit ready. You smell nice. Always. So yeah, that's the plan. See you uh, at the Optimist. We're here at the uh, Optimist, uh, about to set up the shoot in there. We're going to turn that light off just there. Well, put the blind down. Put up a little backlight behind the person. Front light coming down on the person. Two cameras, boom mic above and then uh, our poor man's teleprompter, which is just a bit of paper. Yes, catch you soon. So we've just done an interview with James Hibbs. Thank you very much for coming out and uh, yeah, being a part of this video. You are known as kind of the business guru in Swindon. Is there, any, uh, is there anything, any advice that you could give to someone maybe looking to start a business or, or who's in the middle of business? something that might help them I don't know, move forward or a piece of advice that you've taken over the years? I think the best advice that I could give to anyone would be don't ever limit yourself. I think we always put our own boundaries of what we think we're capable of or what we could possibly sit there and try and do and the reality is you can genuinely do whatever you want to go out to do. Yeah. I was never the brightest in the class, I, I was never the most intelligent, never got the best marks, none of those things at school but I was always determined that I would always succeed in whatever I set out to go and achieve. And I realised that when we, um, we gave the mobile phone to Daniel Craig for one of the James Bond films, and it, it, it got his mobile number that ended 007. And uh, I remember sitting there thinking, how do we manage to get to do that? That's so cool. But actually, why couldn't we do that in some way, shape or form? Why do we set ourselves that because we come from Swindon or we come from this sleepy little bit you know, in Wiltshire, 
we can't go and do that, we can't go and achieve that, you need to be in the big smoke, you, know? you need to be in London or one of these big places to sit there and achieve those things, but you absolutely don't. There's great talent here, there's a great environment here to sit there and try and thrive. It gave me everything that I got in my life, my education, my kids, my wife, my businesses, everything. So actually, why not? And that's the challenge to everyone, why not? You can do it if you really, really want it. Perfect, thank you very much. What do you want? What? What? Not you, him. Yeah. Where even are the headphones? Where have they gone? What is yeah. wrong with you guys? Uh, new product. This is the new product review unboxing. Well, they are new because they're brand new out of the box. How much paid yours? About the same. Yeah. Very nice. Can't hear a thing you say now, Ben. The plastic's supposed to help the ears. Is it? These are the new, audio, well, they're not new, they're kind of old products, but new to me, new headphones. Just highly recommended these uh, headphones. We needed some new ones for when we're doing interviews and stuff. Happy days. Let's hope that I've picked the right one. On the ears, plug it straight in, job done.